What's up, family? It's your guy, Rich Chan. Welcome back to the channel. We're coming at you today with some more Bill Burr, man. We got Bill Burr thinks women are overrated. <laughs> Make sure you guys smash that like button if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And as always, if you guys have any more request videos, you can either comment those down below in the comment section. Or you guys can DM those to us via social media. The links to all of our social media accounts will be in the description box below. But without further ado, let's jump straight on into this next video, guys. Let's check it out. Your show, F is for Family, I relate to it because it's about parenting in the 70s. And that's, you know, that was when I was parented like you. What do you think of parents now? How do you compare them to parents in the 70s? Oh, it's just completely, the kids have so much power. It's like ridiculous. Like half of these kids, I'm like, I look and I, I just have what happened to me. And I'm like looking at a kid and be like, this kid's about ready to get punted across the grocery store. And it just never happens. <laughs> they, just, they just don't get hit. And I think it's hurting You're this mad? country. You're mad, wait a minute. <laughs> no, like, let's get this lead. You're mad that children are, are not being uh, this, hit. This should be the threat of it. Half of it, it was just the look. It was just your dad was acting like he was going to do it. He never did it, but your mother did. And because, <laughs> because she was, no, because she was a woman, it was like, OK. Because yeah. it was like, hey, you, know, you let a girl beat you up. You know, you kind of felt emasculated. Yeah. We had a rule that, like. That was true for me. I don't, I don't think my dad ever whooped me, which is strange to, like, think about. But my mom, oh my God, oh, oh, oh. a few times she beat the shit out of me, son. <laughs> I actually, a lot of the stuff that I look at from when I was a kid that actually kind of made sense in a way is now would now be considered like abuse, I guess. Like when I was a kid, if you didn't finish your supper, as we called it. Supper, yeah. Yeah, my mother was just like, well, you're going to finish. You're gonna, um, she would just wrap it in cellophane, and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast, like, like a blue-collar job. Like, you, you take the shovel out of the hole and just start digging it again. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember one night we had cube steaks, which is like one of the toughest pieces of meat. I don't know if you guys, everything's so, like, Asian-infused, Wagyu beef. Everybody's eating that crap right. now. but. Cube steak was like, they had, literally had to hit it with a hammer to make it like edible. And uh, so we were having cube steaks. And I forget, my little brother was still in a high chair and he couldn't finish his. So my mother goes, all right, we're well, just gonna have to eat it for breakfast. And that was like eight hours away, which was like half his life. So he was like, all right, I'll, I'll take that deal. <laughs> so the next morning, we, I remember we were having waffles. My mother always made Sunday breakfast. So we had all these waffles, eggs, bacon, this whole layout. My brother was looking at half eaten cubes steaks and a little mound of green bean casserole and he goes so he looked at my mom he goes mom can, can i have a waffle and she goes no you got to finish your supper he's like well after i finish my waffle uh, supper then can i have a waffle she goes no that is your breakfast and he goes oh mom i hate you and my dad without looking up took a full glass of milk and threw it in his face <laughs> What kills you me? want everyone today to have as miserable a childhood as no. you had. No, but it was kind of funny. I just, we know what's hilarious was my mother just popped up and just immediately started cleaning up, and my dad just kept eating. Like, he didn't, like, <laughs> no, like, the roles were defined back then. Now, the guy has to throw the milk, he has to clean it up while telling his wife she's brave for just sitting there. Like, whatever that is. Can you hear it? Oh, oh, I know. Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from wait, nine, wait, what? We wait, went, wait, what? We Whoa, went, what? We wait, went, what? We went from not listening to them to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that believe women. It's like all of them. <laughs> how about, how about 85%? I'll give you 87%, all right? <laughs> But that last 13% that keys your car, lights your shit on fire, and puts a family pet in a, in a pot of stew? <laughs> Who put a pet in a pot of stew? Glenn Close. Oh, Glenn that, Close, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, okay, all right. I think I it was a separately say, boiled. You know what I'm, I miss? I miss, yeah, tougher parenting and evidence. Those are the things that I miss from my childhood. Evidence? Yeah. You mean Due people... process? 
Right. Somebody says something happened, and then someone else goes, well, I said it happened this way, like the old gumshoe shows, and they had to figure it out. Right. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't exist now on, on social media. It's just, right. like, it's just frontier justice. Right. You feel how nervous everybody just got in here at the fact that I just suggested that there should be due process? <laughs> This guy's talking crazy, man. Did he just join ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what this did it. This, no, what I'm saying. <laughs> and then the woos that they agreed, but they, were, they didn't agree when it counted. We can add, we'll digitally add woos, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we have the woo machine. Uh, <laughs> you are way too angry. 50 is still I'm relatively young. You, are the, you have the anger of, of a 110-year-old man. <laughs> All these telephones! I, do. <laughs> I, I can't argue. <laughs> oh, man. Shit got a little out of hand. You know, there, 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 there are some things, you know, that I don't agree with, you know. Um, which, and I... I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section, but I, I, I definitely don't agree with the whole we divorce, she get 50% situation. I don't agree with that. Ex especially when, you know, it's it's clear and it's defined where, you know, and this could go either way, you know, uh, but it's clear and defined, you know, where the the individual that's giving up half like made that on their own like like come on like what, what what are we talking about here you know they have to give up half of what they worked hard to earn now just because they're getting divorced like how does that even make sense um and like i i don't i don't agree with the whole child support situation you guys can let me know in the comment section uh i ain't no no child support you know what i'm saying i ain't got kids but um, so I can't like go in depth, in depth. I can only speak on what I've seen, you know, on, on, you know, different platforms and things like that, that people have spoken about, but, um, oh, child support situation, like 20,000 a month for a kid, son. Like what? Whoa. Whoa. So now obviously every, in, like every, like, come on, let's, let's be realistic. Every situation is different. I understand that, but. You know, like some some of these numbers are just like, whoa, <laughs> really twenty thousand a month? That's more than a lot of people make in an entire year. You know, like, damn, son, damn. <sighs> just makes it tough, man. You know, you know, just just. I, I feel like, and I feel, and I honestly feel like it makes a lot of guys like not even want to get married or have kids, you know, because of that, you know, they're like, fuck, like I am not trying to hand away half of what I got or pay some exorbitant amount in child support, you know, like if we don't work out or whatever, the way I feel, the way I feel about it, y'all can let me know in the comment section if we, if we, if you agree, you know, we can have an adult conversation. The way I feel about it, if the opposite parent, if if, if, if it's a co-parent situation, 50-50 child custody, you know, the child stays here, then it stays there at a certain time, you know, it's 50-50. If the person that is making the most money, you know, let's let's take let's take Tiger Woods situation. We're gonna we're gonna throw Tiger Woods out there. That was that was a big one. Arguably the greatest golfer that ever lived. Arguably. Dude was damn near a billionaire. I don't, he might have been a billionaire. I don't fucking know. He had a lot of fucking money, though. He had to give away half when they divorced, which is total bullshit to, to start with. Like, she was not on that golf course swinging that club with him. Like, he was out there putting in countless hours to the point where he fucked up his whole body. You know what I'm saying, son? Um, but at the same time, I don't know his whole child support situation or if he even had to pay child support. But if he had to pay child support, if he bought his ex-wife a home for the kids to live in, he paid for the clothes, the food, you know, he, he, the clothes, um, kids' clothes and things like that. Like, why should he have to pay for, like, this other person to continue living? Like, 
like this other person isn't capable of getting a job like the rest of society just because you know what i mean like i, I don't know like somebody that disagrees give, give me some understanding on this situation cuz i you know i just don't agree with that one you know i'm just going to be 100% honest with y'all I, I just i just don't i just don't agree with that one you know i'm just paying these exorbitant amounts on on child support something like who the fuck can spend 20,000 on a child you know like like really? Like what? What are we talking about here? But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comment section below. Make sure you guys leave a like before you go. Hit that subscribe button, as you guys already know. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, man.